Hello, I'm Zen. Today I can share some elegant ways of decorating indoor plants in your room. I have managed plants in restaurants, hotels, hospitals, and companies in Japan, and the technique that I use will be applicable for our daily life space as well. First, don't plant a houseplant directly into a decorative pot. Rather plant it in a plastic pot, then slip the potted plant into decorative pot. This is called double potting. Here we can see plants and stylish decorative pots which will be used in the house exhibition hall tomorrow. As I have discussed with interior coordinator to arrange the house exhibition hall in monotone, black and white and grey pots are prepared. These are big indoor plants for the purpose use, which will be arranged by seeing the house exhibition hall venue with furniture placed. This is a small outer pot without holes. Despite of the event, I usually take care of decorative pots for my plant rental service business. Nowadays, so many indoor plants are available and placed as part of interiors in hotels, restaurants, shops, hospitals, and offices. However, we frequently see the way of outdated decorations. As an extreme case here, can you still see that the plant is located directly on an ash saucer? Such an ugly arrangement will make the stylish room space turn out to be disappointing. Now I will show how the impression of our plant is greatly changed in a combination of some decorative pots. This stylish banded spidanthus unfortunately doesn't look nice due to the plastic pot and saucer. How does it change by putting into a decorative pot? Yes, as you can see, the plant is now in a white cover which is made of fiberglass reinforced plastic as known as FRP. The look of ceramic or stone in a light weight makes this indoor plant an important piece to decorate the room elegantly. This is a FRP outer pot like a basket, which imposes soft impression on the space. Also, this same type, but in black, would provide us with completely different and stylish atmosphere for a room. The tall cement pot gives profound feeling on a room, and the combination with tall plants makes a room impression fabulous. Thereby, I would recommend it. This is the last case example whilst I have tried the tall and decorative pot ever in my life, which surface looks like lava stones. The cover gives more profound impression rather than a cement cover as a previous case. It's fantastic if you could put such a gorgeous and profound plant decoration in a hotel, an office, and even in your house. This item will be placed in the terrace of the house exhibition hall and which will be uploaded in my channel later. As shown here, we can change an impression of your house plants without repotting and you can please check the decorative pot if you prefer using indoor plants for room decoration. Rather, directly putting your plant in a ceramic pot, planting in a nursery pot could easily test a various combination with decorative pots for your joyful room interiors. Next, I would recommend hiding a plastic pot with soil using coconut fiber. People frequently place face decorative stones on soil and hide soils with Tirandisa usneoides and artificial green stuffs. As I have also tried many items and then concluded that coconut fiber would be the best for arranging an indoor plant. However, it costs much only for a small amount. To save some money, I use coconut mat for flower hanging after breaking it into pieces. If it's firm, I will cut into pieces using scissors or by hands. Let's try it now. Here we have a tree in double potting, which you can frequently see similar stylish decorations everywhere. I'm now wondering if it could impose more luxury impression on us by further arrangements. 
For instance, a combination of different colors of a plastic and a decorative pot might not match well. The fiber is one of the special decoration materials since we have feeling that the plant is directly planted into the decorative pot even with a matched color with the pot. Much fiber will be used for a large pot. I cannot make it now only by one hand. However, we can reduce to use an amount of fibers by stretching them. Again, the plant looks like being planted in a decorative pot, having seen in a distance. Fibers are also used for these plants. You can receive a completely different impression only by hiding soil and a plastic pot with coconut fibers. I can show more examples. This is not a decorative pot, rather a paper bin. Actually, this can be bought at lower cost than decorative pots, which I can also recommend here. It's fine if such a bean can fit with a pot without leaking water. Now we can place here with this ficus altissima having long trunk without leaves at the bottom. While the plant itself previously looks poor, the impression gets now better with this paper bean. However, there is still a lot of inner spaces. We will softly place fibers here now. Then, how does it look like? With this decorative paper bean and coconut fibers, this unsteadily altissima turned out to be stylish. You will see many plants arranged in such a standard outer pot in shops, which appearance becomes better only by adding fibers. Fibers change the plant impression, even for small pots. Quality of coconut fibers as a natural product will be worse like turning into black after watering. If this is the case, please replace with new fibers, otherwise the plant decoration looks dirty and miserable. I have visited sites only once or twice per month where my plants are used. Thereby, these plants are controlled by saving water in a decorative pot at the bottom. In salmon, especially mosquitoes or flies may put their eggs on water or such moist soils. However, coconut fiber prevents these insects passing through into the soil or water at the bottom of a pot, then we will less frequently see insects, which is not 100% avoiding though. This can be an asset to use coconut fibers for plant decoration. However, with the fibers, plants which are not tolerant with moisture can be withered since drying up soils is prevented by the fibers. If so, I wouldn't recommend using them and please think about characteristics of your plant. I recommend intentionally using a small plastic pot as shown in my other videos because we can use a various type of stylish decorative pot to make it happen Special watering methods will be required. These methods can be referred to the link attached below, and please check them. The content shared today is an important skill to make hotels, shops, restaurants, hospitals, and offices more stylish, and it would be great if you share the video with others if preferred. Please don't miss my videos by subscribing my channel because I want to share the ways of growing and decorating plants that I experienced from my plant lentil service business. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.